Have you ever felt like a fraud even though you've accomplished so much? Do you constantly worry that others will discover that you're not as competent as they think you are? If you've answered yes to these questions, you might be experiencing imposter syndrome. Imposter syndrome can be debilitating and prevent us from reaching our full potential. But don't worry, in this video, we're going to show you how to overcome imposter syndrome and embrace your journey towards building confidence. By the end of this video, you'll better understand imposter syndrome, the strategies to overcome it, and how to boost your confidence through action. So make sure you stick around until the end. Let's dive in. Understanding imposter syndrome is the first step towards overcoming it and building confidence. Imposter syndrome is a term that was coined in the 1970s by psychologists Pauline Clance and Suzanne Imes to describe the experience of feeling like a fraud despite evidence of one's competence and accomplishments. If you experience imposter syndrome, you may feel like you don't belong or that you're not qualified for your position even if you have the skills and experience to back it up. This can lead to self-doubt, anxiety, and a lack of confidence in your abilities. Common symptoms of imposter syndrome include feeling like a fraud, fearing failure, perfectionism, overworking, and comparing oneself to others. These symptoms can lead to negative self-talk which further reinforces feelings of inadequacy and can make it difficult to break the cycle of imposter syndrome. Imposter syndrome can be a barrier to success and confidence as it can hold you back from taking risks and pursuing your goals. However, it's important to remember that it's a common experience and that you're not alone. Now, recognizing that you're experiencing imposter syndrome is the first step towards overcoming it. But what's next? How can you take practical steps to boost your self-esteem and overcome self-doubt? Here are some effective strategies. Recognizing and challenging negative thoughts. When you feel like a fraud, it's easy to spiral into negative thinking believing that you don't deserve your achievements or that you're not good enough. But the truth is, these thoughts are often unfounded and not based on reality. So start by challenging these negative thoughts with positive affirmations and reminders of your accomplishments. You can even create a list of your achievements and read them to yourself when you start feeling down. Embracing self-compassion and positive self-talk. Treat yourself with kindness and understanding just as you would a good friend. Instead of criticizing yourself for mistakes, focus on what you learned and how you can improve in the future. Speak to yourself in a gentle and encouraging tone and be mindful of the language you use when talking about yourself. Building a support network and seeking mentorship. Surround yourself with people who believe in you and your abilities. Seek guidance from mentors who have been through similar experiences and who can offer practical advice on how to overcome imposter syndrome. Having a support network can help you feel less alone in your struggles and give you the motivation and encouragement you need to keep moving forward. These strategies take time and practice, but they can help you overcome imposter syndrome and build the confidence you need to achieve your goals. Remember that it's okay to ask for help and that you don't have to go through this alone. Taking action is the key to building confidence and overcoming imposter syndrome. But what kind of action should you take? Here are some strategies to help you boost your self-esteem. Setting and achieving realistic goals. Setting realistic goals and working towards them can give you a sense of accomplishment and progress. Start by setting small goals that are achievable and gradually work your way up to bigger goals. Celebrate each milestone that you reach, no matter how small, and use it as motivation to keep going. Celebrating achievements and progress. Don't forget to take the time to celebrate your achievements and progress, whether it's getting a good grade on a test, completing a project at work, or reaching a personal milestone, take a moment to acknowledge and celebrate your success. This can help you build self-confidence and give you the motivation to keep pushing forward. Continuous learning and personal growth. Adopt a growth mindset and concentrate on learning and self-enhancement. Pursue novel challenges and opportunities, beginning with tasks that are slightly beyond your current comfort zone or that feel somewhat intimidating. Keep in mind that encountering errors and deriving lessons from them is an inherent aspect of the growth journey and nobody's flawless. Take action toward your goals. 
Taking action can be scary, but it's necessary for building your confidence. Don't wait for the perfect moment or for everything to be perfect before taking action. Just take the first step, even if it's a small one. As you take action, you'll gain more experience, knowledge, and confidence. Remember, confidence is not something you're born with, it's something you build over time. The more you take action toward your goals, the more confident you'll feel. Remember, imposter syndrome is a common experience. With the right strategies and mindset, you can overcome it and achieve your goals. Before we sign off, we recommend a book that can help you on your journey. It's called The Imposter Cure, Escape the Mind Trap of Imposter Syndrome by Dr. Jessamy Hibbard. It's a great resource for anyone looking to overcome imposter syndrome and build self-confidence. We also recommend our video, How to Get Out of Your Comfort Zone and Embrace Doing Hard Things. We'll leave a link to both the book and the video in the description below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on our next video here on the Tree of Life channel.